we determine whether you are alive or dead by movement. My name's Carla Perlo, and I'm the founding director of Dance Place. When I first opened Dance Place, we were in the heart of Adams Morgan. And when the building got sold, the rent quadrupled, and they wanted $6,000 a month to stay there. Back in 1986, this neighborhood was much more appealing to me. One, because it was near a metro. Um, two, because it had more of a sense of neighborhood and community. People say, well, Northeast is a pretty, un, you know, underserved neighborhood and it, it really was drastically underserved when we first moved here. We did the best we could. We painted the bridge, we filled the potholes, we planted planters. Uh, we tried to make it as green and as clean as we could and my workforce was the children in the neighborhood. So there was really nothing in this immediate neighborhood for the neighborhood youth and they came knocking on the door and we had to listen. So. I formed an after-school club. Delonte White was a part of that club and a lot of the neighborhood. At that time, a lot of the boys were really attracted to this facility. My name is Delonte White and I, I work at Dance Place. I started at Dance Place at around when I was 12 years old. We, me and a couple of friends was bored. We was throwing rocks and, you know, called a protocol sauce and said, uh, y'all want a job? And he was like, oh, cool, let's go. I wouldn't be me without Dance Place. This was my second home. Uh, Bass Bend, where my neighborhood has no recreation in like a, a walking distance, Dance Place was like on the back street of where I live at, because I live on 7th Street. So this was like my, when I'm going through it with my mother or grandmother, I can run down here to talk to Carla or Deborah or any, uh, any staff member, and they'll just brighten me up. If nobody wouldn't have stayed on my back, I probably wouldn't have made it through school, to be honest. Because coming from where I'm coming from, it's, it's a hood. Like you, you, when you walk outside, you see a drug dealer and a crackhead and, and drunks. So they not encourage you to go to school. They telling you, they asking you for a dollar or they encourage they, they putting something negative in your head or in your hand. Trash. Hey, if Carla and them, this family wouldn't have been on my back, I'd have, just be, I'd have been lost. I volunteered to give back to my community. I believe the same kids that come through the dance place right now, I can say, I can honestly say I was one of those. Who can read this for me? Raise your hand if you can read this for me. Okay, Ugo, what does it say? How to build community. And the children in this neighborhood helped me create this organization. They work right alongside the staff right away from the Energizer program to the summer camp. Everybody participates, everybody helps out. Uh, and I think that the children really enjoy that. They know that their energy, their creativity adds value. They know that they're a very important part of this organization. And without them, we would not have a lot of the creativity, the beauty, the vitality that the organization enjoys. We really, really like this place. We love this place. And uh, I think we especially appreciate, because we live here in Brooklyn, we especially appreciate that there's the opportunity to connect our children to learning as it relates to the music, the arts, and the performance right here in our own community. I think that's the thing that we truly appreciate the most about Dance Place. Yes, uh, shout out to Dance Place. Uh, keep going, keep strong. Uh, very, very positive. It's great for kids to express themselves in, in this way and to be artistic. So uh, continue with more classes and keep it going. We really believe that the type of moving we do, it's not just exercise, but it really, it feeds your soul. It helps you feel centered and it helps you cope with the most difficult part of life, and that's the challenge of change. And most people will say they're the happiest when they're creating, when they can do some type of creative activity, whether it's playing music or dancing or painting. You know, the enjoyment of doing it and the enjoyment of being involved in it 
you know, I'm going to listen to great music and feel inspired. I'm going to see great dances and be inspired. I'm going to go to the theater and hear the words. I'm going to read poetry. I'm going to read great narrative and be inspired by it. You know, it, it's, it's really the essence of being human.